Hello kids, Assalamualaikum Welcome back to our Science Year 3 class with Teacher Ain We are still in the first unit which is Scientific Skills In this Scientific Skills, you are going to learn about Science Process Skills For today, we are going to learn about Making Inferences Making inferences. There are six science process skills in year three, which are observing, classifying, measuring, and using numbers, making inferences, predicting, and communicating. Today, we are going to focus on making inferences. Before that, let's take your science textbook. In this textbook, you are going to see page 8 until 10. Are you ready? Now, let's start. Making inferences. Making an inference is a skill to reasonably explain an initial conclusion of an observation Membuat inference ialah kemahiran menyatakan kesimpulan awal yang munasabah untuk menerangkan sesuatu pemerhatian Maybe true or false Kemungkinan inference yang dibuat oleh kita Boleh jadi ia betul atau salah. Now, let's see this activity. Let us read the conversation between Langi and his friends below. Langi, why does this plant look green and fresh? Okay, why does this plant look green and fresh? Okay, this is an observation. Okay? Now, maybe the plant is water every day. Yes, can you see the word of maybe? This is the keyword. So, maybe the plant is water every day. Next, perhaps the plant has been given enough fertilizers. Good! You have just made inferences or initial conclusions about the plant. So, from the observation here, plant look green and fresh, there are two inferences, which are, maybe the plant is water every day. Next, perhaps the plant has been given enough Fertilizers. So these are the reasons why this plant look green and fresh. Okay, let's continue. Why are the leaves yellow? You are right. The plant is wilted too. Okay, from this dialogue. There are two observations here, which are leaves yellow and plant is wilted too. So now, we are going to make inference why this observation could be seen from these pupils. Okay, let's see. Maybe it didn't get enough fertilizers. It looks like the plant did not get enough water. The soil looks dry too. Okay, see? The soil looks dry too. This is observation. Okay? So, she said it looks like the plant did not get enough water. Maybe this is the reason why the soil looks dry too. Maybe 
the plant was attacked by insects. Ah, maybe the plant was attacked by insects. So, from these dialogues, let's see what are the inferences in these dialogues. Okay, maybe the plant did not get enough fertilizers. Maybe the plant did not get enough water. Maybe the plant was attacked by insects. So, these are the reasons why the leaves look yellow, why the plant is wilted, okay, and why the soil looks dry. So, in conclusion, inference can be made after we do observations. Okay, now, so, making inferences. First, we have to do the observation. Okay, just now, the plant look wilted. Okay, so we are going to give a reasonable explanation. We are going to explain why the observation looks like that. So, this is called as initial conclusion. Okay, now, let's do this activity. The observation is, Amira is wrapping the bird's leg. Okay, so, we want to know what is the reason Amira is wrapping the bird's leg. Ah, so, the inference is, can you tell me what is the answer? The bird is injured or the bird wants to fly? So, the answer is, the bird is injured. So, this is the reason why Amira is wrapping the bird's leg. Okay, next. Let's see the another observation. Okay, the observation is Chong sleep. Okay, so why this observation happen? So the inference is the floor is slippery or the floor is dry. So the answer is the floor is slippery. So this is the reason why Chong sleep. Okay? So after this, I'm going to give you a link for online live worksheet. So in this live worksheet, there are two parts. The first part is you are going to match the picture with the correct inference. Okay. Next. Section B, you are going to rewrite the correct inference based on the pictures given. Okay, next. Okay, now let's take your science activity book. In this science activity book, you have to refer page 6. Observe the situations in the pictures below. Take the correct inference. So, number 1, number 2, number 3, and number 4. You have to choose the correct inference for each situation here. Okay. And we are done for today. That's all for today. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.